Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to fix the power switch on your Samsung Galaxy S3. A very common problem caused by a defective power switch is that whenever the phone is powered on, it will turn off and turn on repeatedly. If you know for sure that the power switch is causing this issue, then this tutorial is for you. Before I get started though, I would like to explain to you the methodology behind this solution. First, we'll tear down the phone until we get to the logic board. So, this is the logic board right here. Second, we will remove the power button from the logic board. So, basically, the power button, this is the Samsung Galaxy S3's logic board, by the way. So the power button is actually soldered on to the logic board, and it's right here. As you can see, I already removed it, but we'll be removing the power button so that it can no longer cause that issue. Third, we'll put the phone back together. Lastly, since your phone no longer has a power button, I will show you alternate methods to power on your phone, power off your phone, lock and unlock your phone without the need of having a power button. So basically, in summary, we're basically removing the power button so that it can no longer cause any issues. Sounds simple enough, right? Let's get started. Alright, so you'll be needing two tools. Uh, one is a flathead screwdriver. And another is a smaller screwdriver so that you can remove the screws from your phone and disassemble it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the battery cover, then you're going to turn off your phone, and then you're going to remove the battery itself, right here. And you're going to remove any SIM cards or SD cards you have. And then there's going to be 10 screws around this area. So, remove those. Remove those 10 screws. So after you remove those 10 screws, you should be able to pop off this plastic bag. All right. And now, as you see, um, all right, as you see uh, right here, there's this turquoise looking rectangle. You're just going to flip that up and disconnect it from the logic board. And now you'll be able to remove the speaker. Now, if you look up top right here, there's a, another, this part right here, we're going to flip that up, like so, so that it looks like that. So it looks just like that. Uh, there's another part right here that we need to flip up, so just use your finger now. Flip it up, so it should be like that now. Alright, so you flip those two parts up. Now, uh, down here, there's another part right here that we need to disconnect, so just flip that up. Voila. Okay. Now, um, there's actually a screw right here. Let me, let me show you. There's actually a screw right here. I already took it out, but there's a screw right here that you need to unscrew, so make sure you, you unscrew that. It's a black screw, so just... Uh, unscrew that screw right here. You have to remove the antenna cable connection. So let's remove that part. So it should be like right here. So now we can remove the logic board. Just like that. All right. So once we've separated the logic board from the phone, we're going to actually locate where the power switch is. So flip the logic board over. And you see right here. Right here. Right here is where the power switch is located. Alright, and we're going to remove it. So that it looks just like this. Alright. We're going to move the power switch right here so it looks just like this. 
just gonna focus it just so you can. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna get out our flathead screwdriver, and we're just gonna you're just gonna attack from the middle. So you're gonna wedge your the flat end of your um, screwdriver, and just try to start just scraping it as hard as you can and just scrape it off. Uh, the thing is the metal boundaries that you see around it is actually very flexible and bendable so it's very easy to break. The only difficult part would be the two plastic parts in the middle. So we really need to start attacking the plastic parts and you just keep on scraping it and scrape it towards towards the button. So you see the buttons right here so just scrape it towards the button and scrape it scrape it scrape it and just keep on doing it until you remove the power button here's a video of a guy actually doing it I'm sorry I couldn't get the video of me doing it because uh, when I was doing it I didn't uh, think to video videotape it but um here's a quick little video of a guy actually doing that all right, so after watching that video, you now know it's it's pretty much possible to remove the it's it's very possible to remove the power switch from the logic board. So if it doesn't work, you can try using a knife. But um, so just when doing this, um, just be careful. Uh, don't damage the board or anything. But um, if you if you if you work at it hard enough, you'll be able to get it off get the power switch off and once you uh, remove the power switch uh, you should be able to see five little soldering metal parts so there's like five parts to it there should be five places where uh, where the power switch was soldered on so just make sure to get it to that point you want to remove every evidence of there being a power switch so after you do that we can just basically put our phone back together so and I'm I'm not gonna remove the power switch on this logic board because this phone works fine so just put that aside put this phone aside and bring in this phone now alright so let's put this phone back together it's the, so just uh, put the logic board back on Make sure these two tabs right here are sticking out still so you can connect them. Make sure the antenna is also sticking out. So just put it back, put the camera back, and just plug everything back in like so. Yeah, there we go. And plug the screen back in. So the three things you flipped up should be uh, connected back to the logic board. Um, everything should be in place. Now get back, get that black screw that you had earlier. I'm just gonna uh, just screw back the black screw onto the um, logic board right here. After you do that, you can connect the antenna back to its port. alright just like that now so everything should be plugged back in to the logic board so just make sure these two things right here are connected back this thing right here and we never removed this thing so this thing should be already connected and make sure the antenna cable is connected and once you do that get the speaker right here put that back on all right, should be that turquoise rectangle. Just plug that back into the logic board. All right, and then you can get a screw and just screw the speaker on to the phone right here. 
Now you can get that plastic frame you had, this thing right here, and put that on. Looks like the antenna is sticking out right here. So we're just going to put it back in its little canal. So after you put all your screws back in, you can put your battery back up. So it's a different battery this time. Uh, ignore that. Oh, before you put in your battery, you have to put in your SIM card. Sorry about that. So put in your SIM card. Put in your memory card, just like that. And now you can put in your battery. Great. Awesome. Now you're thinking, well, how am I going to turn on my phone now? That's an easy solution, actually. Um, basically, you're going to connect your phone to your charger. So right after you plug in your phone to your charger, you're going to immediately press and hold down on both the volume down button right here and the home key. So let's do that. Plug in your phone and immediately press down on the volume down key and the home key. And this screen should pop up. So once this screen pops up, let go. And it should ask you volume up for continue or volume down for restart phone. So we're going to press volume down to restart the phone. And now you can remove your charger cable. And that's how you turn on your phone without using a power button. Now you're probably thinking, how the heck am I supposed to unlock and lock my phone or even turn it off without using the power button? Well, there's an app we're going to download. So to unlock and lock your phone and turn off your phone uh, without using the power button, all, all we're going to do is we're going to download an app that lets us do that. So go to your Play Store. and type in button savior so it's called button savior and there's two versions uh, one is button savior that requires a root there's another which is a button savior that doesn't require a root I'm gonna install the non-root version so just install whichever one you prefer Once it's done installing, uh, just open it. So it says to use this app, you must turn on accessibility and check button savior on. So we're just going to go to setup and we're going to go and say, and it says services right here. So we're going to choose button savior and we're going to turn it on. Okay. Just go back okay alright go to advanced and go to enable screen lock uh, press activate go back to go to look and feel go to theme and choose honeycomb pens honeycomb I think that's the best theme but that's up to you alright and now that we're done we can just exit so once you're done configuring, configuring it, uh, you see this little arrow right here, or right here on this edge right here. Press on it, and this menu should pop up. And on the bottom, you see a power uh, picture right here. If you press on this icon, the power icon right here, it will put your phone to lock. It will lock your phone, so basically do that. It will lock your phone. And to unlock your phone, all you need to do is press the home button. So just like that. Alright. Now, on the root version of this app, if you press and hold on this power icon, it will actually give you access to the power menu so you can shut down your phone. But in the non-root version, I guess you can't do that because every time I long press, it won't, it won't do anything except put it to sleep. It won't activate the power menu. So... 
the only way you can t turn off your phone uh, from the non-root version would be taking out your battery and putting it back in. So that's a bummer. Uh, so that just about wraps it up. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please comment below. Uh, if this video helped you, please like it and subscribe. So thanks for watching.